Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW, guys, 5 Series generation E60, 61 that you see right here. This, guys, is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys have one of those, you need to find, guys, where the uh, driver power window fuses are located. You may have multiple fuses. Stay with us. We'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools for your BMW or any car that way do not waste your money why it's important to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience and in addition we'll talk guys why it's important to test fuses and realize so make sure to stand to the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys if you have bmw 60 61 that generation 5 series we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay why to save you time and money let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your fuel pump fuse blows out what you need to do okay it takes forever to find where it's located it's so complicated you may have even multiple fuses and all you have to do come to our channel search for it and you'll be able to find that video watch it and in less than two minutes you replace the fuses you're back on the Road. something else guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions why we do that because our mission the shop is to save you money guys we have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money now uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and if you need to buy cheap fuses relays anything for your BMW links will be shared as well so let's continue now what we have here specifically guys we're going to demonstrate now specifically on a 2008 bmw 5 series you have up to three different fuse boxes in this car but we'll need to work in just one of them on the passenger side open your glove box guys empty the whole content of the glove box on the back side you'll see one rectangular cover black one with two turning knobs turn them remove that cover once you do that you'll get to a fuse box that's located directly behind the glove box cover right there before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relays so it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well common mistakes people make sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on bmw that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience so here now specifically guys we are going to check okay uh, three different fuses for the driver power window one is for the um, master window switch window up and window down okay you have different fuses that row of fuses is one through nine this is 10 and up guys so starting on this side even if you have a missing fuse you count that spot but you can see on the bottom on 10 12 14 16 on every even number they're marked on the bottom with very little numbers so if you can see them that will make it super easier uh, much more easier but which fuses we need to check fuse number 10 and 11 for the driver power window will need to be checked 10 and 11 then we need to check 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, so that's 31, 32, fuse number 32 guys, right here, that 20 amp fuse will need to be checked as well, so you will need to check fuse number 10, 11 and 32, hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, see you guys next time.